Dr. Zaidi, if I want to find out what my vitamin D level is, how should I go about that? It's a simple blood test. You go see your doctor, he or she orders your blood test. But the important thing is that it should be the right test. There are two tests for uh, vitamin D level. One is called 25-hydroxy vitamin D and the other one is called 125-dihydroxy vitamin D. The right blood test to detect vitamin D deficiency is 25-hydroxy vitamin D and not 125-dihydroxy vitamin D. Why is that? Why is one better than the other? Because 125-dihydroxy vitamin D can be normal while you are having vitamin D deficiency. And why does that happen is that vitamin D has relationship with another hormone in the body called parathyroid hormone. Oh, by the way, vitamin D is not a vitamin, it's a hormone. Okay. So, vitamin D interacts with another hormone in the body called parathyroid hormone. And then parathyroid hormone it is, is responsible for converting 25 hydroxy vitamin D into 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. So this is how it goes. When somebody is low in vitamin D, which is 25 hydroxy vitamin D, their parathyroid hormone uh, gets in high quantity and this high level of parathyroid hormone then causes increased production of 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. So can you understand now that some person has low level of vitamin D which is reflected in 25 hydroxy vitamin D but because of high level of parathyroid hormone their 125 dihydroxy vitamin D stays normal. Actually I've seen sometimes it is even higher in people who are having severe vitamin D deficiency because if you have real severe vitamin D deficiency then you have a very high level of parathyroid hormone and that causes increased formation of 125 dihydroxy vitamin D. So please, please make sure that whenever uh, your physician is ordering vitamin D test, it is 25 hydroxy vitamin D because that truly reflects the true state of vitamin D in your body. Another reason is also that 25 hydroxy vitamin D has a much longer half life and reflects what's going on in your body compared to 125 dihydroxy vitamin D, which has a very short half life and doesn't really truly reflect your vitamin D status. So we can just remember we'd rather be 25 years old than 125 years uh -huh, old. That's a good way to remember that. <laughs> okay, yes, so yes. 25. All right, Dr. Saidi, I understand there's also a confusion sometimes in reading the blood test when they come in, the results. Uh, could you tell me more about that? Yes. Uh, how vitamin D level is reported uh, is very important. Uh, labs report vitamin D level either as nanogram per ml or nanomole per liter. These are two very different units. The conversion factor is 2.5. For example, if your vitamin D level is 20 nanogram per ml, it will be equal to 50 nanomole per liter. 20 of nanogram equals 50 of nanomole. Okay. That's a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen that uh, happens quite a lot that uh, many physicians uh, don't pay attention to these units and that's a fact of life. All they look at is numbers. And uh, for example, uh, your physician who has been very proactive learning about vitamin D learns that vitamin D level should be more than 50. A good vitamin D level is more than 50. And that's all he knows, the number 50. Actually many books on vitamin D sadly also just 
write down numbers instead of giving uh, uh, these units. Mm. And, and, but you, you, you be careful and you watch out for these units yourself. So for example, uh, your physician who has been uh, very interested in vitamin D orders your blood test and uh, orders the right test, 25 hydroxy vitamin D, and it comes back as uh, uh, 60, for example. So your physician looks at the number 60, uh, in his mind is more than 50, it's a very good level, and tells you, oh, this is wonderful, but he may forget to see the units, it may be 60 nanomoles. And 60 nanomoles, if you use divided by 2.5, converts into uh, about 24 uh, units of uh, nanogram. So your actual level is 24 nanogram uh, and that is low. Mm -hmm. So you are having low vitamin D but because instead of 24 nanogram it got reported as 60 nanomole and your physician uh, just uh, presume that you are at a very good level. It happens all the time. I've seen it so often. And uh, I talk to physicians and I've been educating them and most of them, they are very thankful when I tell them about it because uh, uh, they confide in me that uh, they really don't pay attention to the units and, and that's a fact. It seems like we ought to have a standardization in this country, um, but different labs use different levels of units, is that correct? Uh, that is very true, and it's not only in this country, we're talking around the world. And uh, so till that happens, let's pay attention to the units, okay? All right. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Saidi. Yeah.